Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to uh, create a real quick video here for you, maybe a little bit of meta stuff for you. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, playing uh, these games at the speed that I play at and give you sort of an idea of why. So um, as I started to make up this channel, the first idea behind it actually was not to create a YouTube channel. I wanted to create a blog. And I thought that as part of the blog, it might be interesting um, if I show myself playing some of the games that uh, uh, that I'm talking about and then I'm putting as part of the replay. I had thought about making this blog, honestly, for over a decade. And um, I'll get later into some of the influences that I had. The reason why I really wanted to make this blog, though, was more a uh, type of self-expression. It's fun to play a replay, right, and to play it by yourself, but it's a lot more fun if you can share it with somebody else and if you can talk about it, especially with people who actually care and who aren't just going to look at you like you're an idiot or you're crazy or whatever. And so that's the reason why I thought, hey, I might as well do this. I kind of know the community well, and I might as well go on for it. Um, now, the question about YouTube came up. I had thought for a while about how interesting it might be to uh, use YouTube as a medium for showing how some of these games work, for showing you stuff like how I play Diamond Mine Baseball or how I play NP3 or how I play any of these other games that are out there. I know that there are other videos out there with people playing these games, but um, some of the videos you'll notice only have uh, computer managers playing against themselves. Um, and a lot of the videos don't have quite that same sort of uh, outreach to the audience um, and the type of engagement that you see from more professional type product products. Um, there are numerous uh, content creators I started to watch, especially in the pandemic. As a, a lot of them are guys over in the football manager world. And I thought I kind of... Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to be like all of them, but I like what they're doing. They're really reaching out to me, and I kind of like this idea. And that's what got me into thinking about creating these types of videos. Now, after I started creating them, I thought, well, I mean, what should I do? I realized, for example, that most people, when they watch videos, are watching on mobile devices, not on computers, something that a lot of content creators clearly don't fully realize. That's the reason why I talk a lot during the video, because I know that most of you can't see the screen, or it's too small for you to see, or maybe you're doing something else at the same time. I'm not going to blame you. I do the same thing. I, if I'm doing something for work or something for whatever, I've got a video on in the background because I don't want to just sit there in silence, right? I want to hear some voice, you know? And so that's kind of the reason why I've set things up uh, the way that I have. But then that brings up the question, right, which is what is my role here? Am I like a broadcaster? Am I supposed to be trying to add all sorts of color and imagination to these games? And what am I supposed to do? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not much of a broadcaster. I mean, you might like the audio quality. I hope you do. You know, I've tried to make things a little bit nice. Um, but um, I am not the sort of person who uh, would be a great broadcaster and who can think of these great analogies and ways to describe things off the top of my head. I mean, I'm not really the best at doing that. You might be able to tell that as we play the games. Instead of doing it that way, I thought, you know, there are other channels that do that well. You know, I don't want to call too many people out, but like take Uncle Ron, for instance, right? We all know him when we're in this um, industry. He does a lot of games. I watch a lot of him. I know other people do as well. I like his voice. I can't do that voice. I can't do that sort of style, right? And I thought, you know, well, instead of trying to be a broadcaster, maybe the best way to do this would be to be a replayer. And that's what the focus on this channel is. So when I play a game, the intent that I have is not to try to Im imitate somebody's broadcasting style. It's not to um, like wow somebody and say, oh, look at this. You know, I'm uh, I'm just like Vince Scully or I'm just like Ernie Harwell or I'm like somebody else. No, I'm like me. And the reason why I'm doing this is to give you an idea of what it's like for the replayer. And so the games are played at a pace at which I would normally play the games. And the difference is that I talk my way through them. But you'll notice that I can play an NP3 game even with a lot of scoring in maybe about 15 minutes. Honestly, if I'm doing it without talking through all the dice rolls and just playing myself, it's probably going to take me more like 10 minutes, right? Honestly, most of these games, if it's a routine game, unless something crazy is happening or there's drama. Same thing with NP3 game, or I'm sorry, with the Diamond Mine games. Most of those games, yeah, if I'm playing by myself, probably about 20 minutes or so. It takes me a little bit longer to talk about what's happening, but not too much longer. You'll notice that I skip a lot of stuff that comes up in the play-by-play -play because a lot of it's really repetitive. And I think, I mean, a ball is a ball. I don't have to pretend that the guy's almost hit by the pitch every time. Right, and uh, we kind of let the drama of the game play out by itself. And we have that drama, remember, of the game and the drama of the season, and that all feeds into the larger drama of what the replay is. That's the whole purpose of this, though. It's uh, The idea behind this is for me to take you along with me as part of the replay in the hopes that maybe we're playing this replay together, and it's not just me as some crazy guy standing here in my uh, living room, you know, uh, playing a bunch of stuff by myself and um, pretending that I'm some big shot. You know, instead, it's you and me together coming together on a replay and uh, 
maybe even exchanging some ideas or giving each other some advice and getting to know the players and getting to know the times and the teams this way. And the nice part about this is that if there's something that you like, if there was a great game or something, you can go back and watch it again. You can experience it again. You can look deeper into it. You can ask questions about it. You know, you can uh, look deeper into the mechanics. And this is also the reason why I don't spend so much time talking about exactly like how NP3 works or exactly how Diamond Mine works and the theory behind it and all this other stuff. That's what these other videos are for where we can kind of talk a little bit, a little bit more relaxed and get to know each other and all this. But when it comes to the gameplay, I want that to be focused on the gameplay itself. That's replayer time. That is when we are in replay mode and we care about the replay at the expense of all else. Anyway, so that's a little bit of the philosophy that's behind this. I hope I'm not getting like too deep into this with you or whatever, too much philosophic stuff. I know a lot of it can feel like mumbo jumbo. But that gives you sort of an idea of what goes on. Hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye.